Hello everyone, I am finally back. Um, last week I was completely wiped out with a cold. My voice was completely gone. So I couldn't record any videos and I don't pre-record, which is something I probably should change in the future. Anyway, I am here to do the soundtrack of my life book tag. I was tagged by my friend Michael through Twitter to do this tag. Um, he found it by a girl named Katya who does a book blog called The Girl Who Read Too Much at wordpress.com. So I will get started with this quick book tag with the first question, which is opening credits, favorite childhood book. And with this one, um, I am going to go with Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry. I read it several times as a child, and I loved it just so much that um, it's always going to be one of my favorite childhood books. The next question is Waking Up, a book that got you out of a reading slump. Um, this one's kind of tricky for me because... Last year, I was plagued by reading slumps. I got into so many that um, it was really hard to pull myself out of, especially at the beginning half of the year. So um, I actually went to my friends to recommend books, and BookTube also really helped. I ended up reading uh, the Boss by Abigail Barnett. It's a romance book, so uh, it was a really quick read and it was really easy. The next question is School. A book you had read for school that you ended up loving. The one that comes immediately to mind, I actually have no idea what it's called, and all of my attempts at trying to find out what it was called it has been useless. I know it is a uh, Jewish memoir of a man who essentially survived uh, World War II and the Holocaust. Um, another one that actually does come to mind is uh, Of Mice and Men. Next is Falling in Love. An author you love so much you want to read all of her books. Julia Crane, who did the iFix uh, trilogy, I was really pushed to look at her other books and right now I'm currently reading coexist that is also written by her um next is fight a book with the best action sequences the hunger games trilogy by suzanne collins because it is really intense i do have to say that the book i am currently reading which is the immortal rules by julie kagawa has some pretty intense action sequences next is breakup a book or series you didn't finish and don't intend to finish. Um, so a book, the only book in my mind that I think I have ever not finished reading, I am sad to say, is Aragon by Christopher Pellini. Next is Hanging with Friends, a book you think everyone else should read The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chomsky. Next is Breakdown, a book that seriously affected you and had you crying your eyes out. The 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, and I have said this in all of my videos that involve crying because this book made me cry so much, and everybody else who has read this book knows exactly what I'm talking about. Next is Road Trip, your favorite series, which is more than three books. And this is going to be a no surprise, but Harry Potter! Harry Potter will always be my favorite series because it's I started in my childhood and I will continue to reread them and they will always be a part of my life even if I don't have time to read the books. There's the movies and all of the merchandise that I own. So Harry Potter for the win. Flashback, your favorite book from five years ago. My favorite book from five years ago and it still is one of my favorite books 
is The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. It is part of the Gemma Doyle trilogy. Getting back together. What book can you not stop rereading? It's Lucas by Kevin Brooks. I have read this book so many times that I think I have it all pretty much memorized. Wedding, a book that is really, really special to you. Now, all of these books that I own held a very special place in my heart, and all the books I have currently mentioned will never leave me. However, another book I have yet to mention is Molokai by Alan Brennert. And this book, I picked it up at a whim when I was shopping at Target once, and I can't believe how blown away this book made me feel. It's a historical fiction about a girl who contracts leprosy um, and is sent to a leprosy colony on Hawaii. A moment of triumph. Longest book you have ever read. It's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It's a whopping 800 and what, 60, 70 pages long. So I really think that this is one of the longest books I've ever actually sat and read and finished. Um, I know it's not the longest book I currently own, and I can't really count textbooks, because textbooks are thousand pages long, and I read those every semester, but this is the longest novel I have ever read. The longest book I strive to read and want to read is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, which is over a thousand pages. I think it's a thousand and... 462. So it is a really, really long book, but I want to read it so bad that when I have time, I am picking this up definitely and reading it. Next is Death Scene, a book or series you wish had ended differently. And I'm going to go with Silent Echo by Alyssa Freilich. Her ending, I just didn't like it so much that it completely um, diminished my review. I It made me really disappointed. Next is Funeral, book with the best or worst epilogue. It's Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. That ending, that epilogue was so perfect and like had me in happy tears that... I'm, I just, it was, it was beautiful. I loved it so much. So it gift, it definitely left me with a very happy, happy conclusion to the Infernal Devices. And last, but certainly not least, is end credits. Who do you tag? And I have technically tagged Michael because he tagged me, so I want to see him do this on his blog page. And I tag you, and I will definitely see you next time, hopefully sooner than later. Goodbye!